And the Iron Bowl for 2003, set to go. Ron, Alabama will try to pin Auburn in the short side of the field, but I think Auburn's going to try to bring it back to the field. Here comes the kick, and they kick it to the far right side, and Cardinal Cadillac Williams will take a knee. From an eye formation, Williams, five, breaks it out, has ten, he's loose. His final regular season game of the Southeastern Conference. Of course, they play Hawaii next week. Here's Sean Williams. He says, I have an answer. Takes it out across the 30. That's going to be a gain of about 13 yards in the play. Second down, Bama. Sean Williams, nothing to the right. He takes it to the left, close to the first down, up around the 42 and a half yard line. Sean Williams, three carries, 23 yards. Gets it again. Nothing to the right. Tries to spin off, and he's not going to have the first down. Junior Rose Green is there. Bo Freeland gets the boot away. This is a high tail wagger. Good coverage kick at the four. It's going to take an Alabama halt, and it's going to be touched dead at the one-yard line. Williams hit behind the line of scrimmage. There's a safety, Anthony Bryant. look to him now as a go-to guy because he's such a game breaker. Here's Joe's kick. He's going to kick this one out of bounds. And you know with the penalty here, Mike, this is going to give them a scrimmage uh, from the 50-yard line. Oh. oh, what a huge stop by the Auburn defense after giving up a safety on offense. Kick out of bounds, they get it at the 50, and they are only able to move one yard. And this punt is straight up in the air, extremely short, and now takes a huge Auburn bounce. Third down, they need to take it to the 42. Quick pass over the middle, got it complete. Quarterback draw. He got it. Jason Campbell for the two points. They, they're coming after this one. Coming right up the middle, and he barely got it away, and it's a dandy kick. Another tail wagger, but very long, and a fair catch called for and made at the 23. Auburn from their own 23, play action. Looking to go long, going for everything, and he's got a man wide open, Taylor, and a flag is down at the 35-yard line. Charlie Pepper got turned around. But he's only a redshirt freshman out of Carrollton, and the coaches said early on in the year they thought he was really going to be a good one. That pass thrown in, it is caught on the other side by Daniels. Silas Daniels, a junior out of Jacksonville, takes it inside the 20, 20 yards on that pass play. And here comes Cadillac Williams, right side. Turning those legs inside the 10, and he's down to the 9. Adrian Karsten down on the sideline. Well, this game every year is even more history, and it's it's the one that is the most important. As Williams takes it across, you can see inside the yellow line, and a first and goal, Auburn Tigers. You see his numbers, 4 of 8. His longest, 34. at home and we'll take a break 407 left in this opening quarter and our new score Auburn 18 to 2 and to hold on to the football they've got to take it out just across the 41 yard line Coyle quick pass middle screen and it's Cothro puts a head down and the little uh, water bug is going to have the first down the Marco McNeil will finally make the stop on him very good against the run and here's the punt skies this one and fair catch is called for and made at the 14. Well that they have and it happened on the very first play from scrimmage an 80 yard run by Carnell Cadillac Williams. Here is a sack and it's Derek Pope. Number six the senior out of Galveston Texas 
Campbell. Very deep drop. Over the middle. Got it complete to Daniels. And Daniels is going to have the first down by a yard. Now that is an absolutely perfectly run pattern. Pooch is this one. Very high. Let's see if it's uh, too long or not. Yep, it's going to take a bounce and go into the end zone. Coyle, heavy pressure. Gets it away to Hudson, and he is hit immediately. Adrian Carston, what do you got for us? Give me roll tide. Roll tide? War Eagle. War Eagle. Uh huh. Jenna, what are your thoughts on this whole thing? Uh, roll tide. Ron, <laughs> roll tide. You know, the first time we have uh, seen that in a game that we've done, he joins Trey Smith. And here is a driving, driving spiral. And this is Cadillac Williams from the 20. Turns the corner. Still looking. He's going to take it almost to the 45-yard line. And we made mention that he had uh, made amends in this ball game tonight, but he just dropped another what would have been a touchdown. Third down. Campbell going to run. He got a lot of open space, and then it closes up quickly. Good speed on the part of that Alabama defense. Campbell deep over the middle. There's the tight end. Cooper Wallace fumbles the football, and it is picked up by Alabama's Roman Harper, the young man we were just talking about. We got a minute 49 seconds until intermission. Coyle, another screen. They go back into Hudson. Hudson breaks a tackle and still fighting out of the 30. Still fighting close to the 35-yard line. The ball has come loose. Auburn football. 50 seconds until intermission. Here comes pressure again. Barely gets it away. It is caught and caught inbounds. That is a spectacular effort by Courtney Taylor, the red shirt freshman. Good for 10 yards and a first down. 44 seconds showing on the clock in the second quarter. All out blitz and the screen pass. A tackle is made and a flag is thrown. Holding against the defense. The penalty is 10 yards from the previous spot. The yardage is enough for the first down. You see Alabama coming up to play bump. Blitz coming off the corner. Got single coverage in the end zone. Ball is tipped. And he made the interception. Roman Harper with his second turnover in the second quarter. And that takes away either a touchdown or certain three points. Ron, they have it, boy. Hudson on the draw play. Hudson's going to have a game of very close to 10 yards. Marco McNeil stops him. Fresh legs. Didn't play last week. Suspended. Coyle. Everything he's got. And this one is a long way down. Intercepted by Auburn. And that's uh, Rose Green. And with that, it is halftime. Adrian Carston, let's check with you on the sideline. 20, 30. He just got by Yost. He may be gone. Brooks, 10, 5, touchdown, 96 yards. They're coming after him. Gets it away, and this is a driving spiral. Brooks from the 10. Tries to go back the other direction. And he gets the handoff. Williams right at the middle. Big opening, 30, 35, and he is all the way out to the 40-yard line. Hudson now comes in a tailback. He gets the handoff. Turns the corner, runs over the defensive back, and is close to another first down as Junior Rose Green came up and is asking now for the license plate on the truck. Shad Williams right up the middle, another big opening, and he crashes into a defensive back, and that's a pickup of 13 yards. Carlos Rogers finally made the stop. Coyle. 
middle. Short drop. Quick pass over the middle. Got it complete, and that's Bolgem. And he will have another Alabama first down. The new line of scrimmage will be the 24-yard line. Lomax. Matt Lomax lines up the tight end. He has played center for Alabama this year. They are so short on tight ends, they've had to use him for blocking purposes. Wide open. Ten-yard line, Fulgham. And finally being pushed out of bounds at the five. It is first and goal, Alabama. Look at this. This drive, 76 yards. Total of 109 in the entire first half. Williams. Bounces it up the middle. Two, one, touchdown, Alabama. Matt Lomax with a paving block. First down for the Auburn Tigers. Campbell sets in the pocket. Got his pass complete to Daniels. And tackled immediately. It's going to be about a five-yard gain. Madison is there. I, I really believe everything's going to be on the back of Jason Campbell. Daniels, five catches, 52 yards. He's the leading receiver tonight. Cadillac banging away across the 40 to the 43. Reese Davis. About to hit the midway mark of the third quarter. It has been an interesting affair, to say the least. This pass thrown complete to Taylor. And Courtney still in bounds at the 50-yard line. It's Wallace, the tight end in motion. But he goes with Cadillac, and he runs it back into the boundary, cuts it back up. He'll have the first down. Boy, what a quick cut right in between two defenders. Well, there are all kind of rumors that the Brandon Jacobs, if he comes back, possibly would transfer. Cadillac's got 100 yards and 12 carries. Make it 110. Make it almost 115 as D'Amico Ryan finally runs him out of bounds. Almost nine yards per try. Short drop. Zings it right over the middle. Got it complete. That's going to be another first down. Courtney Taylor has become their favorite go-to guy, the redshirt freshman. His career from this distance, one of three. Ball is down, plenty of distance. And he got it. 5.18 left in the third quarter. We'll take a timeout. 21 to 16 order. He mentioned he had a touchdown pass against Mississippi State. They've tried to make him their go-to guy. Quick pass, got that one complete, and that's uh, Luke. Pray on this Luke, and he'll have the first down. Trey Smith. He is the shorter of the two backs. Carnell Williams, the deep man. Here's Freeland's kick. Really high, good coverage kick. Williams signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25-yard line. Campbell from the shotgun, rolls the pocket, gets the pass complete to Daniels. And then he is thrown out of bounds. Reese Davis, time to check with you again. Well, there's some people there, bold people all over the place with their fingers crossed on that one, pulling for Washington State particularly. Running play, and Williams breaks it loose at the 40 and finally pushed out of bounds at the 45. Williams again, nothing to the right side, bounces it back into the middle, and look at this guy. He winds up with an eight-yard gain, and most backs would have stayed on the right side and been tackled for no gain. Second down, you can see how short the yardage is. The yellow line just inside the 45, and Cadillac hurdles the man, has the first down. Triple Wallace, his tight end is out there trying to block for him. Charlie Jones and Garth combining on the stop. Cadillac 17 carries, 146 yards, and the touchdown. Campbell's pass, got it, complete to Taylor, he's tackled immediately, but that's a pickup of about five and a half yards. Game clock, under 25 seconds. Running play, they go straight ahead, now Ronnie Brown says, my turn to move the pile and the chains, and he does. The emotions uh, have run both directions. Campbell going for the end zone. Got some help from the safety, and the interception is made by Charlie Jones. Big mistake there. Jason Campbell's first big mistake in this football game. Sean Williams right up the middle, squirms through a small hole. Reese Davis, what do you got for us? Didn't last week they got just walloped by California. 
quarterback will take it straight ahead and he'll have the first down to uh, move the chains Here's the kick. Best kick of the night. Very high in a driving spiral. Carnell all the way back to the 11-yard line, and Cadillac is going to be tackled as he crosses the 15-yard line. Okay, Brandon Brooks is the deep man. They're coming after him. Here's the kick. Not very long. End over end, and Brooks will have an opportunity, and he loses the ball, but he muffs it out of bounds at the 35-yard line. And they'll give it to Cardell Williams. Turns it up. Spin move inside the 30. Downs around the 27-yard line. Anthony Madison puts it into his trail. Under nine minutes to play. You see that average almost eight yards per try. And they'll give it to him again. Bounces it outside. A lot of running room. Gets a block at the five. Touchdown, Cadillac. And there is a flag down and that may be holding against Silas Daniels I believe Mike well, Ronnie Brown comes into the ball game to give uh, Cadillac Williams a breather on first down they give it to Brown fresh legs here driving the pile he's got nine yards on this one Brown right side follows his blockers he's all the way to the one foot line Slaughter, the fullback, out front blocking, gets his block, and Lack scores it. Touchdown, Auburn. Ben Grubbs also with a good block in the play. Season high for him tonight. And he knows how big this ball game is. Boy, that thing's going to drop. But a good bounce comes up to pro throw, and he will take it to the 38-yard line. Freeland's boot, not quite as long, but a wobbly spiral. Fair catch is called for and made by Trey Smith. So let's take a timeout. In case you missed it, thing of beauty by him to open the second half of the 96-yard kickoff return. Spiral's not going to turn over, but still pretty good distance. And he runs away from it, and it'll go dead uh, just inside the 30-yard line. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. Coyle runs up into the pocket. Now gets it away and has it complete across the 50. Inside the 45 is Ray Hudson. Still life in this Alabama football team. Sports Center coming up next. Immediately following our ball game. Coyle sacked at the 50. Reggie Torbor. Second time that they have gotten to the quarterback tonight. Here comes a blitz, Heron right up the middle, they pick him up, deep, got it, right over the middle, and that is Fulgham. Well, that's a great throw by Cody Coyle. Coyle, heavy pressure and a sacking, that is Spencer Johnson, and here's the impressive thing, Mike, they sent four, they dropped seven in coverage, and they still get the sack. Coyle sets a screen. Hudson, near side, blocker in front, cuts it back into the middle, and he's loose at the 10. It'll be first and goal, Alabama. Rogers saves a touchdown. That looked like Evan Mathis came out of a stance. Dead ball foul. Ball start to get the offense. Movement in the offensive line. Prior to snap. Five yard penalty. Still first down. We have only 113 left on the clock. They're going to make some magic happen quickly. For the end zone. Couldn't catch it. Caught by the second receiver. That's Castillo. No. Lance Taylor. Lance Ron. Taylor, yep. That was big. Robinson has got a tee just the way he wants it, and here's the onside cook, kick. Recovered by Alabama, but a flag is down, and 
touched by Alabama before it was 10 yards. We had encroachment against the kicking team on the kickoff. That penalty is declined because we had illegal touching. The ball had not yet gone 10 yards when the kicking team touched it. It was the Auburn's ball, first and two. He'll take a knee, and that'll do it. That'll be the final play of this year's Iron Bowl. Tupperville and Shula meeting at midfield. And Tupperville literally running toward the locker room. Now, I'm not sure how far he can go. Adrian Carson, you're with uh, Coach Tupperville. Coach, Come just on. describe the level of effort and emotion that went into this win. This is a fan's game. The players played their hearts out for them. I know they appreciate it. It's been a long week for all of us, but I'm proud for the Auburn family and everybody here at Auburn. This is a big game, and we're three and four against Alabama. If you meet with school administrators tomorrow, do you think your job is still in jeopardy? I don't care right now. We beat Alabama. Thank you. <laughs> Run. All righty. So the final score is Auburn 28 and Alabama 23. Coming up next on ESPN at Sports Center, over on ESPN News, it's the press conferences. For more, log on to ESPN.com, your home for college football on the Internet. Now for Mike Godfrey to Adrian Carson and our entire crew, I'm Ron Franklin. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. The celebration beginning, and it'll go on into the night. Good night, everybody, from Auburn, Alabama.